Steve. Thank you, Tasman. Cheers, Tasman. Uh, actor Michael Brandon has joined us this morning, having a lovely chat with uh, myself and Christine. More Christine than myself. <laughs> uh, before <laughs> we talk more, let's have a look at the cop show that oh, first yes. made him a big star in the UK. This is the moment when Dempsey met Matepiece. If you've got a man in here, let me find him. Is he in a former? Not exactly. Lager. What about you? Scotch on the rocks. Got no bleeding rocks here, mate. You'll have to make do with a lump of ice. Oh, Michael. You know, <laughs> they're probably going to play that theme song at my funeral and have me <laughs> popped out of the box by spring, uh, you know? <laughs> it's brilliant watching it. I mean, we were just talking about Dallas the other day, coming back. You never know. Would you do it again if I'm they asked you? I'm still doing it. What are you talking yeah. about? I live with her. <laughs> That's true, of course. Yeah. Of course. Uh, yeah, if, if you don't know, if you don't know the story at home, Gwyneth Barber, um, who played Matepiece, got together with this man here. So there's a love on and off the screen. It had to happen. There you go. That's what they say. Yes. So we're still, we're, still, yeah. we're still doing it. And uh, yeah, it would be great like that to come back uh, and do a like a, a movie of it, you know, kind of like where we are now with that kind of thing. Yeah, you know, there's always been talks about it. Yeah. You know, and uh, we kind of see maybe there's a comedy involved in here, you mm -hmm. know, but um, that would be, it would be fun. Anything's possible. Anything's, Anything's possible. possible. But you're here to talk about singing in the rain, possibly the most beautiful film ever made as far as I'm concerned. I just loved it. So to see it on stage well, yeah, it, is something else. Yeah, it is. It is. It is something else because I'm not, I'm not a musical person, but I'm telling you, the people don't want to leave. They keep, they keep staying and singing the songs and everything. They keep playing the music until finally they go. They turn out the lights. They, they, they're loving the show. I mean, it was um, watching the oh, movie. Love that. There you go. We just got some, uh, just some pictures. These people are amazing dancers, amazing, all of them. And these beautiful girls, you know, the dressing room was next door to mine. <laughs> you know, by accident. So, see. <laughs> Dan Crosley, Adam Cooper, Scarlett Stratton, Stratton, and me there, yeah. and, and Peter Forbes. So you, you, you said you'd, you'd never sung or, or danced beforehand, so how did you get into this? My son, we were watching the movie a week before this thing happened. And I said, you know, this is an interesting film. This is a classic, you know. Uh, and he said, oh, that's the one with uh, that uh, guy dancing with the umbrella. I said, yeah, that's the one. So we watched it, and the colors were brilliant, and the numbers were, and it really was fascinating. And it held his interest, and we watched it together. It was really enjoyable. It held up. And um, a week later, I get sent the script. Oh, and I said, you know, Alex, what do you think? And he said, which part? I said, R.F. Simpson, the studio boss. He said, oh, you'd be good in that. You should yeah, yeah. do it. I said, yeah, well, it's not in London, though. It's in Chichester, you know? And he said, well, be fun. Fun. <laughs> fun. <laughs> you know, fun is... I, the concept, it's a good concept. Fun, yeah. yeah, you know, like, not, not this, not that. Fun. <laughs> so it is. It's great fun. And we're yeah. spending the summer, in, uh, you know, on the beach down there, and it's beautiful. Oh, and yeah, it's nice and the show... The exceeded any of my expectations. It's, it is amazing. You technically, how do they do it then? I suppose you don't want to give too much away, but... Well, I'm telling the water, you know, if you're in the first row, you're going to get rained on. Okay, good <laughs> enough. You know, it's... it's it, but it, these dancers are amazing. The singers, you know, they're... To watch them, you yeah. know, be part of this. And they think in a different way. I've learned a whole new way from them, you know, about beats and counts and stuff like that. You know, I was just to walk out in the first time and I had one of the dancers is dressed as my wife. She's coming out and she holds me back and I said, what? And she goes, three, four, five. And start, I said, oh man, what's going on? Yeah, you know, yeah. they think in beats and numbers mm -hmm. and a whole thing. And I'm, the, I'm, I'm in another world, you know. Um, but it's, it's great, the combination of the worlds. Because this, there was that Paul Merton thing, you know, about Hollywood. Mm -hmm. They spent a third of that stuff about what is the story and the, the innovation of talkies when films changed and musicals yeah. came in and, and people talked to each other and the jazz singer and, you know, and this guy, R.F. Simpson, he runs the studio, which is kind of Monumental Pictures, which is a wannabe MGM, yeah. you know, and he's got this thing that works with this couple and these movies, well, they're the same movie over and over and over again, but the people love them. And then... Income talkies, and it's going to destroy the business. Mm. You know, this is what happened to um, 
to uh, MGM when Warner Brothers came in with talkies. They were three years behind the technology. Mm -hmm. So everything changed. Yeah, it's just a and that's why Jonathan Church did this classic. one, because it wasn't story light. Yeah. And it really is something in history, yeah, but it's so beautifully done in the music, you know. And it's in Chichester, as you said. What are the dates again, then, Michael? Well, uh, I, I start again. Tuesday, Tuesday, the 26th, and go to okay. September 10th. Okay, can okay. You, can you stick around a little bit longer? I'm going to stick. Oh, good, God, that's, good, that's, good. that's a yes. Yeah. I just want to talk about this huge blockbuster movie that you've got coming yep, out um, yep. next week. Um, we'll, we'll mention that in a little bit. For now, thanks so much indeed, Thank Michael. Thank you very much, Brandon Michael. Here, appearing in Captain America. Well, the first Avenger. Mm. Yeah, which opens is, next week. Yeah. That must have been fun, being involved in a, uh, a blockbuster Superhero. Movie. Yeah, it's a very different experience, you know, and it's 3D, my first 3D experience. Oh, of course, you know? yeah. So, yeah, it's quite fun. It's amazing. I mean, have you seen the trailer? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, wow. It does. Wow, Chris, the film. Chris I'm going to see the film um, Sunday morning. Oh, nice. And uh, it opens next week, okay. and uh, it's, it's a smash and a great cast, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm nice. looking forward to seeing that. The fever, you don't want to force people to eat because you're just stimulating the digestion, producing more heat, oh, which you don't yeah. want. Right. So that's a true saying. Hmm. Are you learning things here, Michael? I, I was wondering, does, why does garlic keep vampires away? Because ah. <laughs> it stinks. Um, but, but also, garlic is, is actually quite a useful, with, contains allicin, it's quite a useful uh, remedy for circulation and heart problems. Uh, yeah. So it's a good oh a natural anti-cholesterol. What agent. I learned from the singers is raw ginger is the best thing for a sore throat. And nausea. Threw it up as a tea. Really? Yeah, and nausea, nausea oh, in pregnancy. Yeah. Is it true that if you urinate on a sore, it heals faster. Absolutely not. Unless it's, it's a jellyfish thing. Unless it's a jellyfish thing. What thing. I saw it in Friends, she stepped on an urchin, yes, right? Yes, exactly. And I know the one they you had mean. a urinate on Monica. it. Too, right? Yeah, yeah, but urine is sterile inside your bladder, but as soon as it comes out, it's far from sterile, so not a good idea. Avoid. Not much fun either. Avoid.